How are you all doing? Enrique here, and today I'm going to show you how you can bring back the AMD power plants into Windows 10. It could happen that after an update, or even if you install again Windows 10 into your PC or a brand new PC, that you are not going to have the Ryzen power plants available to you into Windows 10. To check if you have it available, just go into the search bar right here and type power. As you can see right here, you can have this tab that say choose a power plan, open it, and as you can see, I have them right here, the AMD Ryzen Balanced and the AMD Ryzen High Performance. But if you don't have this and you are running an AMD Ryzen processor, this is what you have to do. First, we have to know the type of motherboard that you are running. For that, you want to download this application right here that is called CPU-C. Here into the classic versions, you can download the setup in English, click on download now, and once you have downloaded, just click on the file, accept the agreement, click on next, next, and install it. Click on finish, and now you can open CPU-C. With CPU-C open, you can check right here onto the top of the main board, and here you can see the manufacturer of your motherboard and the model that you have. I'm running an ROG Strix X570F. Now you want to open up your browser, type the name of your motherboard, and search it. Here you're going to find the link of the official internet site of your manufacturer and of your motherboard. Here you have to go into support, driver and utility. Here you want to choose the operating system that you're using. In my case, it's Windows 10 64 bits. And you want to run all the way down until you find this chipset. You can download it right here. Once you have it downloaded, you want to extract it using a free application like WinZip or 7zip. Right click into it and you click on extract files. Click on OK. And once you have it right here, open the folder. And in here, you want to run the Asus setup. And once the application is running, you're going to see right here all the things that you can install with this driver. If you have never updated your chipset, I recommend doing it now. But if you are only looking for the AMD Ryzen power plan, you can uncheck all the other marks and only install this one. I'm not going to install it right now because you have seen that I have it. Another way that you can do it is if you don't find the chipset on the manufacturer of your motherboard website, you can download them directly from AMD. For that, you want to go right here. All the links are going to be in the description down below. You don't want to download this, this software that out of the test for Radeon graphics and Ryzen chipset. You don't really need it if you are not running a AMD graphic card also. But what you can do is to go down here and to go into chipset. AMD socket AM4 is what I have and right here to choose X570, this is the motherboard that we have. And you can click on Submit. You can choose right here into Windows 10. And as you can see right here, you can see the AMD chipset drive. You can download them and this is going to run exactly as previously mentioned. That is pretty much for the video guys. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope the video have helped you out. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and if it was useful for you. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I always try to give you tech tutorials and tech reviews. Thanks for watching my friends and like always, see you in the next time. Bye bye.